So what's up guys? Today I'm explaining you Uber data analysis. So first we import modules panda numpy date time matplotlib matplotlib dot pyplot s plt import cban as cns sns matplotlib dot style dot use ggp lot import calendar this all modules is for data analysis you simply use this to analyze data what data it is you simply analyze now run this cell now we read the data we use csv data which i take from kaggle you simply go to kaggle and i also give link so you can go through it now read the data you see we read the data now describe the data describe is a attribute we simply describe all the data sets elements it counts number of rows find the mean standard deviation minimum maximum 25% 50% 75% what it is now run this cell you see it's count now check the null values so simply take the data and use the is null attribute and sum the null values you use and run this you run now you see purpose as most null values best way to represent a null values is heap map so simply use cns to draw heap map now i run this cell i can see the purpose is a lines which is a heap map of purpose it simply show the null values now drop the null values and again draw the heap map so you can see i draw the null values and you can see the graph is totally plain no null values is here now transform the data we take uh, getting an hour day days of week a month from the data of the trip simply make it two new columns in our data set and format it in a date day and column so we take an uh, array hour date day of week month week day for x in uber data you simply take the start date and you can append hours date date of week month week day now simply insert a new column name hour day day of week month and week day you can see the hour day day of week month and week day now now we first we run this cells so this cell now you can see our data have week month day day of week all of it which i have created here now find the traveling time simply find the traveling time so you can make another column which have a day end date minus start date and simply go through it using a for loop and print the data set now you can see we have also traveling time in it now calculate the average speed simply you know the formula of average speed so which is a very simple formula you simply speed equals to distance upon time you simply use the formula take the speed miles and traveling time and simply put it into it now visualizing the data so use a sns c1 to visualize data different categories of data from data we can see most of the people use over for a business purpose you simply see here it is now run this cell you can see business purpose is the most use over for a business purpose now we simply make an histogram of miles so you can see most of the people not take a long trip here it is the graph now trip for a purpose most and then also this now trip of for purpose mostly the purpose of the trip is meeting and meal and entertainment so we simply make an plot figure 20 by 5 now we count plot and 
set all attributes in it and using for loop it simply prints all those graph trips of purpose now here is the trips per hour of the day now here is the purpose meal and entertainment and meeting is the most so here it is now trip per hour of the day here is the graph of trips per hour of the day now trips per day of week simply only you you take a week week day if you find a week hour you take only hour now trips per day of the month simply use the day here it is now trips in a month you simply see the trips in the month here is now we find the starting point of the trip where all the people take a uber so you simply take the start from columns of data set now count it and make a plot of graph so you can see there is the city where all the people sit in a uber cab now comparing all the purpose with miles hour day of month day of week month traveling time here it is very important thing you simply use a group by function and group by all the attributes and data sets in comparing of purpose here is the business analytic you simply most of the business analytic use a group by to find the most appropriate result so here all the analysis done thank you